Look, 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 forget your advanced forwards, forget your central midfielders on attack and even forget about your Mazalas because I'm convinced that this role is the best role on Football Manager. Now, before we get stuck into this video, down in the comments, tell me which role is the best for you. Now, I do have this feeling that certain roles just work for certain people. I don't know why. <laughs> some people, a central midfielder on attack works really well. Some people in advance forward works really well. For me, it's the on attack on the right hand side. But in the comments down below, tell me which role works best for you. But also for a weird little advert, a weird little advert. If there's any of you that know how to edit videos, please, please let me know in the comment section because I really need a video editor. I did feel that I could handle streaming a lot. So regularly and making videos regularly, but it is a very, very tough ask. If I can get someone that can edit videos, this will help out a lot because then I don't have to sit here for hours on and editing videos and that allows me to stream record stream record at the moment it's either just stream 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 or record 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 and yeah that's one reason why there hasn't been many youtube videos recently yes my beautiful people welcome back welcome back today we're going to be looking at a role so rather than a tactic we're going to be looking at a role and why i believe that this role is the best role on football manager now you can see here with the average rating erlen harlan on 7.68 i mean it's hard to top that but in second place is our leon bailey with 7.66 average rating so far with 31 games played looking at the assist as well emmy buendia has got 15 but leon Bailey has 12 assists he also has eight man of the match awards and if I can lose this if we look at the goal scored Oli Watkins with 13 goals but Leon Bailey with 12 goals so Leon Bailey has 12 goals 12 assists an average rating of 7.66 what role are we using them on now Leon Bailey is not the only example that we have I have two saves this one is with Aston Villa I've also got a save with FC Utrecht which we're going to load up and look at Alex Collado and look at his average rating you know what I've probably butchered this team's name about a dozen times FC Utrecht Utrecht you know what we signed him for 3.2 million from Barcelona we signed Alex Collado in his first season he got an average rating of 8.13 in the second season 7.82 in this season currently is 8 8.15 he's got 19 games he's got 19 goals seven assists 10 man of the match awards clearly Alex Collado is too good for this league but what role are we using him in for him to be shining like this what role are we using so let's go to the tactics so this is our FC users team if you know me you already know that I love a 4-3-3 I can't get enough of it but in the Aston Villa save it wasn't in a 4-3-3 that was a 4-2-3-1 and they are both using the same roles Alex Collado is on the right hand side but as a winger now if we look at Alex Collado he's not right footed his right foot is actually weak his main foot is his left foot and the same too with Leon Bailey the same goes for Leon Bailey they are one footed players and they are left footed so why does it make sense for a left footed player to be playing on the right wing technically it doesn't make sense but when you think about it it makes a lot of sense now when we look at his player traits he runs with the ball often now I feel this helps regardless but also cuts inside from the right wing so what he's actually doing is putting himself in a position where he's wide on the right hand side but he collects the ball with his left foot naturally he's going to cut inside a lot of the times he's not going to run out on the right hand side to his right foot because he knows his right foot is weak he's not trying to do that he wants to cut inside on his left foot and naturally that is what he's going to do now you get the best of both worlds Alex Collado he's got good dribbling good flair good technique what he's going to do is actually fool the defenders Sometimes you might go on the outside, sometimes you might come on the inside. What you are doing is involving a lot of unpredictability in your attacking play. Now imagine you being a defender coming up against a winger who likes to go on the outside but also very, very comfortable cutting inside. It's going to make life very, very difficult for you and I feel this happens in Football Manager too. Just imagine the AI trying to set up their oppositional instruction is going to be a headache when they aren't even sure what your man is going to do on the ball but what we actually can do as well is look at the analysis and look at where he's receiving the ball where he's crossing the ball where he's creating his chances you will find out that he's not actually behaving as a typical winger a lot of us might think okay a winger 
Ilicic is going to stay out on the right flank. He's going to get the ball. He's going to drive towards the byline and just cross it in. Just like an old traditional winger. But what we're actually getting, it's far from that. So here I've compared two games where we played Ajax in one. So on the left hand side is against Ajax. On the right hand side is against FC Twente. We are looking at where Alex Collado received the ball. Now on Twitter, I did call him not a winger, but I called him a half spacer. He's actually performing like imagine a Mazala this is what you kind of imagine or pictured what a Mazala where a Mazala will receive the ball in this half space against Ajax especially look how many times he received the ball in this half space this is very very difficult for the opponent's fullback to defend against because what we're actually doing is forcing their defense to defend narrow and now imagine you've got a Marodin wing back on the right hand side as well just bombing up down that flank and he's going to be in acres of space and against FC 20 it's more on the right hand side so it's more wider but regardless you can still see here majority of most of his passes received is collected in this right half space again making it very difficult for the opponent to defend against so for a winger on the right hand side using their left foot on the row winger of course this is where they will receive the ball majority of the time so football players are not stupid and not stupid in football manager too he knows that he's left footed and he knows he has to behave a little bit more narrow than a typical winger in order to receive the ball onto his left foot just imagine you're a left footed player and you've been asked to stay on that right hand side you're not literally going to stay on that byline because it's going to be hard for you to receive the ball into your left foot so he comes in more narrow he receives the ball onto his left foot and this is where he can either pick out a pass with his great vision flair and technique passing as well or he can run with the ball cut inside just like his player traits tells him to do what we're looking at right now is where Alex Collado is actually crossing from I did post this on Twitter and that's what we're looking at we're looking at my Twitter post talking about this role on Twitter of course <laughs> but we can see here Alex Collado just look how close towards the goal he's actually attempting this cross rather than this outside area here where typically you would expect your right footed winger to be crossing the ball actually he crosses a little bit more closer towards the goal and towards this byline as well so the winger doesn't actually cross on the touchline but he does cross from the byline and this is exactly what Collado is doing but instead of doing it in this wider area he's actually doing it in a more narrow area and we can look at the next cross as well again inside that penalty box he's driving towards the goal he's cutting inside on his left foot driving towards the goal and then with his right foot where he's got the technical ability to do so the flare the crossing as well and he just puts one in low and into he puts it into the striker's path you can't see here but the striker actually scores from this cross in that same game we can see his crossing map as well he is our set piece taker so he does take corners but you can see here as well this here was three kicks i believe and this was a corner but there are three crosses right here and you can see how narrow they are compared to what a right winger would do typically cross on this sort of area here now in this game against ajax we did smash them 5-0 alex Collado did score a hat trick and what we're looking at right now is the average possession with the ball on the left hand side we are using an inside forward which is julian alvarez now what you might expect him to be is a lot more narrow than our winger on the opposite side alex Collado. but in fact i would say alex Collado is actually playing or looking a bit more narrow than the inside forward on the left hand side though the inside forward is supposed to be cutting inside very often with the ball this is only our average possession with the ball of course if our center backs have the ball then our man on the left hand side could be starting out on the wide left once he receives the ball is when he cuts inside but it is intriguing to see that average possession with the ball because we can see here where Alex Collado is looking to receive the ball not in this wide area here but more so inside so here's Julian Alvarez Yankov plays it into I don't know how to pronounce his name Rasmula but here we can see Alex Collado he's, he's so narrow he's so narrow and he slots it in to an open goal so that's his first goal we can look at his second goal no doubt he scored a free kick in this game I'm guessing anyway here's Guerrero with our with the ball sorry our region and look at he comes inside inside the channel so rather than coming or going on the outside he's actually coming inside driving towards the goal and then he scores five minutes later he's actually from open play so he scores a hat trick from open play Rafael Brito I mean what a fantastic player again the exact same movement he cuts inside in between the defenders and the fullbacks and it's so unlike a winger it's so unlike a winger but he's so unpredictable the fullbacks literally have no idea 
idea what to do so if we look at the tactics this is how he is set up in my 433 you can notice that i'm using the mazala on the same side as the advanced forward rather than on the same side as the winger same reasons or the reasons i showed you Colado likes to pick up the ball in the half space so does a mazala so what is the point in playing both half spaces in the team and you can also see that the inside forward kind of starts out in a wider position compared to alex Colado. so it made sense to have a mazala on the left hand side rather than the right hand side so that is something intriguing to keep in mind this is our 433 that we're playing at fc utrecht now it's time to load up that villa save again and kind of look at leon bailey so at villa this is the setup it's a 4-2-3-1 and you can see leon bailey as that right winger again he is very one-footed i say very one-footed his right foot is actually reasonable but he is left-footed and he's playing on the right hand side as a winger a role that the coaches the assistants aren't actually going to recommend highly but I recommend it highly and I can't recommend it highly enough. Again, looking at the player traits, run with the ball often and cuts inside from the right wing. These player traits are, are arguably the most important thing about this role. You can't just stick out any player on the right wing and then expect them to perform like this. They kind of have to have the player traits and this is where it kind of tricks the opponents or the AIs fullbacks again we can look at where leon bailey is receiving the ball and you can see in these matches against leicester city and fulham how dominant he's it look he's just absolutely owning this right half space rather than the actual right flank it is the half space especially in the more advanced areas as well against fulham i mean fulham likely did have a very very difficult time defending leon bailey in this game and another very very intriguing thing about this role is the amount of goals they score from the far post so on the left hand side you might have noticed on both tactics so i have um on this 4 2 3 1 i've got a wing back on attack just surging up that left hand side he gets a fair few assists like this where he drives himself towards the byline and whips it in at the far post where leon bailey is really coming in more narrow because he's left foot i don't know why they come in narrow so often i'm guessing it is the fact that they are left footed but they do come inside and you can see where the cross is received leon bailey sneaking in at the far post and he scored a lot of goals sneaking in at the far post and similar to Alex Collado we can see where he is attempting his crosses similar to Alex Collado he does take our set pieces so he does take our corners but from the open play crosses you can see inside the box inside the box in just outside the box sorry and this one is just inside the box all of them are very very close to that byline so they're not crossing from very deep now crossing from very deep actually might be very interesting in this formation or this tactic or with this idea as well that the right winger operates in the half space because then he can whip in a lot of deep crosses that's something that i haven't thought about and that's something that i actually might try out if they are crossing from these these sort of areas here again very very difficult to defend against i do believe these might create better goal scoring opportunities but this might be difficult or more difficult to defend against so just like we did with alex Collado, we can have a look at leon bailey's one of his good games here's buendia on the ball finds lucas dinia this might be a goal that i'm talking about and that is the goal that i'm talking about that is what i'm talking about oh my god thank god for that here's lucas there's um, emmy buendia on the ball but here's lucas dinia driving towards that byline whips it in far post and there's leon bailey he's just free and he scores a lot of goals exactly like that but here's buendia where Bailey returns the favour it might actually be a very similar goal no it's not no it's not he just cuts inside plays it into Buendia's path and then Buendia smashes it 2-0 to Aston Vanilla but we can see how creative how great Leon Bailey has been 22 games 12 goals 12 assists his XG is at 10 so he's overperforming and we can also look at his creativity here as well look at the key passes look at the key passes 4.11 per 90 he dribbles though is not that high or as high as you might think they would be Alex Collado I believe his dribble is a lot higher but then again if you do compare the league standards one's the premier league one is the era de vise alex Collado, i feel has a lot more time and space to be making dribbles leon bailey is wanted by tottenham alex Collado is wanted by arsenal as well so these are players on top top form unfortunately though that wraps up this video i hope you guys will try out this winger role on football manager winger on attack make sure that winger is left footed and make sure that ringer likes to cut inside onto his stronger foot and unfortunately that wraps up this video for me i hope you guys have enjoyed it i have enjoyed it don't forget if you have enjoyed this type of video to hit subscribe like this video leave a comment as well and 
I'll see you guys in the jiffy.